Are you tired of switching through endless note-taking apps and searching for the perfect one? Well, the search is over. I found the truest second brain and it's called Obsidian. Now I know what you are thinking. There's a cost and a learning curve, but trust me, it's worth it. Every great tool requires some effort to master. That's why I'm making this video series on Obsidian to help you conquer the confusion and make the most of your Obsidian experience. So sit back and grab your mouse and get ready to make your second brain better. Because in this video, I'm revealing seven insider setting or tips to transform your Obsidian workflow into an ultimate productivity powerhouse. Don't miss the last one. It is the coolest feature and added recently as a community demand. Are you tired of cluttered image folder in your Obsidian setup? The number one complaint I hear is about the hassle of handling images and attachments. When you paste an image, it just hangs out in the root folder and before you know it, this gets messy. I know, you don't like it, neither do I. Good point is Obsidian already has a good fix for this. Okay, let's go. I've already copied the image. Let me paste over here. So if you just observe in the root folder, you see the second brain cover images. This is the second one cover image, right? That is not the expected behavior I want. I want my image to be pasted in the same folder my note resides. So the fleeting note folder, under this folder, the my note is currently residing. So I want my image to be reside over here. So let me open the setting and go to files and links. And at the bottom, you will see default location for new attachments. And if you just click the drop down, you will see four options. The first one is the wall folder. That is the root folder. And that is the by default setting. And the second option is in a in the folder specified below. That means you can specify a folder if you prefer and same folder as current file. So if I select this option, okay, let me select this option and paste the same image again, control V. And right now the image resides in the same folder my note is, but I prefer a different approach. That is, let me show you again, go to the files and links in a folder under current, in a subfolder under current folder and name this subfolder attachments, right? And let me paste the image again, you'll see the magic. So this time it creates a attachments folder under my current folder, I mean in, in the same folder as node and then it pasted the image. So this is convenient because I don't want to mix up my notes and attachments altogether. Okay. Note taking and note making is a habit. Do you know how to build a habit? Make it simple, make it easy. The more friction you get, the more resistance you feel to make notes. But with Obsidian, it's different. Obsidian makes it easy for you to build a note taking habit by reducing friction and resistance. Let me explain the friction first. As a new user, it is normal to expect put your note inside a folder or the current folder. But if you are not getting it, well, don't worry, let me show you. I always prefer to work on a single task at a time. That means when I need to create a new note, I want it to be created the same folder as my current note. So if you see that my current node is under the fleeting node, that means I want to be new node to be created over here. So let me press the new node button. Sample node. And the sample node is actually created under the root folder. That is not what I want. So let me show you how to fix that. Go to setting, then files and links, and go to default location for new node. And there are three options. Vault folder, that is by default. Same folder as current file, that is the setting I need. And the end that is in the folder specified below. No, I don't want that. I want same folder as current file. And get out from the setting. And now select this node and create a new node. And if you do that, that means as the previous node was under this folder, that means new node created under, same, under the same folder. That is what I want my updated note. Wow, cool. 
spill checking is by default disabled in Obsidian. That's a common and expected behavior from a note taking app. So let me show you how you can fix it. I have written the word taken in wrong way, but the word is not underlined red. That means spill checker is not enabled. So go to setting and after that editor and then go below and you will find the spill checker and enable it. Okay, and now you will see the word is actually marked underlined in red color. That means spell checker is enabled. Okay, fixed it. Dark mode is already popular in internet. That's why all apps use it. And that is the same reason Obsidian by default comes with dark mode. But if you're old school and prefer white theme, follow me throughout the instruction. Go to setting, appearance, and at the top you will see base color scheme. So that's dark and select the light mode. You see, Obsidian is in white theme. And if you want to get back to the previous dark mode, select it the same way, light theme. Cool. You can decide where does your deleted nodes go. Normally when you delete something, it goes into computer recycle bin. But I don't prefer this because I want to keep all of my deleted nodes in case later I need something from those. Here is how you can keep all of your deleted nodes in Obsidian Trash Folder. To do that, go to Setting, Files and Links and here you will find Deleted Files and the default option is Move to System Trash. That is not what I want. I want it to actually trash into the obsidian trash so that is a folder inside obsidian so after that if i delete a file so that means uh, delete this one sample node delete okay delete another node this one delete okay if i go into obsidian folder so how can i go into obsidian folder if you know how the obsidian folder is that is good but if you don't know let me show you how you can open obsidian folder Select any node. Okay, select me this node. After that, go to show in System Explorer. And if you just go to System Explorer, you will find this one. That means here is my files. I mean the node location. And if you just go back, second brain, this is the Obsidian folder. And here you will find it dot trash folder. This is the folder where Obsidian dumps all of your nodes. I mean all of your deleted nodes. So I have deleted two files before one is image and there is sample node you see that means if you delete your nodes that is also residing inside obsidian if you want you can recover later obsidian has a vibrant community with more than 70,000 members in discord chat and 35 members on forum community is very active so it has 168 themes developed by community developer plus custom styling CSS so you can tweak obsidian to work and look exactly how you want let me show you how to change the theme this is how it look like in default theme so let me just scroll down and now I will change the theme and use different theme and that means I will go to setting and go to appearance and there is option themes and click on manage and here you will find a lot of themes. You see 138 themes, that is the only dark themes. And I always prefer to use things. So let me install and use this theme. So, so that means everything changed, right? And if I go back, now the look is different. Everything is different and this looks better than before. And all of the headings are colored and the code looks better and professional. Everything is I mean, I prefer this theme. That means you can actually use any theme you want. So experiment for your base theme and you have a lot of options. So whatever you want. So you have a lot of things to explore, a lot of themes to explore. Even you can actually, uh, I mean, build your own theme if you are good at web development. If you deal with dozens of nodes altogether, then this will help you a lot. This is the coolest feature. When I started using Obsidian, it was not there. Obsidian updated it recently as a demand from community. To show you this option, let me open as many nodes as possible. So next node connect connecting. 
function next one next one next one and next one next one okay so that means i have opened a lot of nodes right now so if you go to the top right corner over here you will see option stack tabs wow that means all of the tabs are stacked side by side if you click this node that means you can work on this node this node work on this node and if you click any node in middle you can work on that node over here that node and this stack tabs node that should be very useful when you want to deal with lot of nodes all together and you are working over this node next over that node over this node that node you are switching between nodes so this is useful and you can actually stack a lot of tabs in the same window